Almost all the astronomers that I know grew up reading science fiction. That's why a lot of them got into the business of looking for planets in the first place, to find out if any of this, you know, fantastic speculation that inspired us could be true. And now we find out that, yeah, it could be true. Could humans live on Kepler 452b? Kepler 452 is the name of a star in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. It's a star that's similar to our own sun, but it's too faint for us to see from Earth without a telescope. Kepler 452 is about 1800 light years away, which means it currently would take a spacecraft about 30 million years to travel there. At least one planet is orbiting the star. It's called Kepler 452b, and astronomers have wondered whether it could be home to alien life. Kepler 452b is sometimes called Earth's cousin or Earth 2.0. We really appreciate your support here. If you are new, press the subscribe button and push the bell icon for updates on the new video. Yes, we were talking about another Earth. We don't know whether life exists on Kepler 452b, but we do know that it has some things in common with the Earth. For instance, Kepler takes 385 Earth days to complete its orbit around its star which is only a bit longer than one Earth year. Astronomers say that the planet is in the Goldilocks zone, meaning that the distance of the planet from its star is just right, making it not too hot and not too cold for life to exist. The same is true of the Earth in our own solar system. Venus is too close to the Sun and is so hot that water would boil. Mars is too far away from the Sun and is so cold that water freezes. But the Earth and Kepler 452b are both at just the right distances from the stars, so that water can be liquid at a temperature between 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. Now let us talk about mass. Astronomers have also managed to measure the size of the planet Kepler 452b. They can do this because the planet passes in front of its star once every orbit, as seen from Earth. When the planet does this, it blocks a small part of the star's light, so that it gets a bit fainter for a few hours. By measuring the amount of the dip in light, scientists have worked out that Kepler 452b is about one and a half times the size of the Earth. If the star Kepler 452 was closer to us and therefore brighter, astronomers could measure how much it wobbles as it's pulled backwards and forwards by the planet orbiting it. They could then use that measurement to work out the mass of Kepler 452b. Well, this is not possible, but we can still make a good guess about the mass of the planet. If it's made of rock, then the mass of Kepler 452b must be about 5 times greater than Earth's. This would mean that gravity on the planet is about twice as strong as on Earth. So you could weigh twice as much as there as you do here, and it would be twice as hard to jump. Well, let us talk about some other discoveries on Kepler 452b. Other things about Kepler 452b are much more uncertain, but if it is really a super Earth sized planet, then it may have lots of active volcanoes. It may also have a thick atmosphere with clouds covering most of its surface. We don't know what the atmosphere of the planet is made of, so we don't know whether you could breathe the air there. It's very unlikely to be the same mix of oxygen and nitrogen as the Earth's atmosphere. Kepler 452b may not be exactly like the Earth, but it's probably the most Earth-like planet that astronomers have found so far. The European Space Agency's Plato spacecraft will be launched in 2026, carrying a set of telescopes which will search for more Earth-like planets around nearby stars. Plato will probably discover several dozen planets that are even more like the Earth than Kepler 452b, and many of those will be much closer to us. Well, that would be much more interesting discovery. What are your views about this another Earth? Let us know in the comment section and thanks for watching.